Um, okay. In, in terms of your experience, you know, and we talked about the, the the kind of Christian aspect of it, which is really interesting because a lot of times people who don't believe in Jesus necessarily will see Jesus and people will see figures that they don't expect to see. Um, but I, always, you know, I, I have a Christian background. And, okay. and I was just talking with someone just before we got on, and we were in a, a moderator group, uh, near death experiences, life after life experiences. Okay. And a lot of Christians that come in the group give Christianity a really bad name. Yeah, and so we, I think we do tend to shy away from that. Some of us that are in the spiritual aspect of things and Christians will shut down certain things. So, uh, yes. you know, like you being a medium, you know, I, I, I know that people yeah. will tell you, Kim, you can't be a medium and be a Christian. Right. right. I, this is this is uh, poignant because I was going to after I saw the I had these open visions, um, I would want some kind of belonging. I feel like I you know I should be able to go to an evangelistic church, right? And I went to one and I became a member, and there was this point where. I heard the voice of God say, you know, there is somebody that you can talk to at this church about this. And there was, but word started spreading, got to the pastor. The pastor said, can't touch that. Can't yeah. touch you. Can't touch that. And I was, it was a blow. It was a blow to my heart. Um, I grew up with parents that are very burnt out. Uh, my husband, very burnt out on Catholicism, you know, mm -hmm. um, that's the way what he and I don't mean to bring up any religions, I, I, I support them all, if that's the way that you receive God, but there's a lot mm -hmm. of people that have been hurt, really hurt. And so for a while there, I kind of like, for like weeks, I was just like, okay, I don't belong anywhere. I don't know. what I'm. Doing. And then, <laughs> you know, it's like really what is happening to me is that I know that I have this biblical gift of being a seer, seer mm -hmm. and I have access to the prophetic. So now what's happening is I'm actually getting prophetic global uh, messages. So that's my next, you know, step to go, but it's like, who is my audience? You know, the evangelistic Christians are like, Hey, you know, You've got to use this particular verbiage. Right. And then new age groups have been so turned off by Jesus that I'm almost afraid to bring up, right. you know, Jesus. But what I want to say to you is um, I heard this once in Unity Church, which is kind of like a vast, uh, you know, they they just cover it all. It's not really like non-denominational. Yeah, yeah. Non yeah. And I remember the, the uh, reverend or, or the speaker or the minister said, okay today we're going to talk about jesus and don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. Mm -hmm. and so it's important for me to tell you that take it from me <laughs> i was not a christian and i saw a love and that jesus does love you and you don't have to walk that rigid path and you know um you don't have to follow that in order to seek him and to receive his forgiveness, his love. Um, you know, there's, there's so much there that it's, we need to not, this is the time to not walk away from that. Don't let the world and people and humans and people that are in a place of, you know, that, that church I was going to that said, we can't take you. They're huge. Okay, they're they're nationwide and they there's politics involved, there's money involved. And so that can be a big part of it. Yeah. And um, take it from me, if you go inside and you meditate and you, you know, just ask in, in the state of a child, in the state of surrender, just ask for help, ask for direction and don't just and and this is one thing i have found is that affirming and praying in full faith that it's already happened so like i think of the i am okay i don't know why no one i know is like okay when moses went to the top of the mountain and he's on mount sinai and he sees this or i think it was mount sinai but anyways there was this burning bush that mm -hmm. could not be consumed and he said what shall i tell my people what your name is 
And the response was, I am that I am. Mm -hmm. So I perceive that, okay, wow, God didn't answer with a name. He answered with a present state of being. And he answered in a way that said, I am that I am. So I am that that I think of. I am that that I talk about. I am that that I immerse myself in. So we're, if we're immersing ourselves in the world, that's what you're going to get. And so that whole verse about praying in full faith is almost like I am waking up and able to take a baby mm -hmm. step and get dressed and take a shower as I'm going through grief. I am able to, you know, um, find the right sources to heal. I am, you know, doing in baby steps, don't make these vast things that your mind can't believe. But when you, when you pray in full faith, the universe, the creator, God, they are going to manifest that field, that matrix that is of God to me is going to manifest what you, what you are affirming. So if you're affirming, like, I hope one day I, okay, so that's what's going, going to manifest. You're constantly hoping for that one day rather than I am already, uh, you know, attaining that state of being mm -hmm. and attach an emotion to it. Uh, you know, what would you feel like if you had, you know, that attained that, that goal or that present state of being or that emotional state, what would you feel like? Would you feel peace? Would you feel comfort? Would you feel, uh, you know, ecstatic? And write it down. I am ecstatic about this. And that's what I think the name of God is. Hmm. I don't know why, you know, I am, you know, and in the Bible, Jesus, I am, there's a lot of I am's in there. Yeah. And so there's a lot of power in that statement. And it's taken me, you know, I, I somehow before the book secret came out when I was very young, when I was 15, I knew about that. I don't know how I knew about it, but I did. And so I would like make, you know, dream books and like cut out pictures of our house. And we live in that house. It was already built. It was many years later, yeah. but i I don't know if that's, you know, I don't want to say like, yes, you're going to manifest everything because it's, it is divine timing in that, you mm -hmm. know, a lot of people get uh, disappointed and then they lose their faith because it's not happening mm -hmm. in the timing that it needs to happen. And sometimes there's some growth that needs to happen from pain. And uh, I know that one. Yeah. But, you know, I went I, through I eight do years. Want, do you like what you just saw? Watch the full video now and make sure you like and subscribe to see even more great videos from me.